Stress can make you sick. But how does one not be stressed with all the cancellations and fear we're dealing with due to the pandemic scare we are being presented with on every communication level? Hi, I'm Mary Bourne, traditional naturopath, and I love sharing natural remedies with people for better health. Natural remedies have been used by people for centuries, even thousands of years, because they work. One of the reasons people feel stressed is because we feel we have no or very little control over what's going on. Staying homebound and not mingling with other people due to the way this virus spreads can make you feel stir crazy. We want to be sensible about staying healthy, but people are not being told to eat healthy, drink lots of water, uh, keep the immune system boosted, and that way you can feel like you have some control over what's going on. Instead, people are hoarding toilet paper and buying up all the pop they can uh, drink for the next three weeks or crazy, crazy things. And because they aren't being told the proper things to do during emergencies, the other day I was at our local grocery store and there was piles of oranges and lots of wonderful vegetables like broccoli and peppers and, and many vegetables to choose from. This is what we should be focusing on while we're homebound. Learn some new recipes and pull out grandma's old uh, cookbook. Look at YouTube. There's always things on YouTube to give you ideas on how to cook things better. So finding ways to keep our body healthy is primary during this time. Learning and teaching ways to make us healthier with old time recipes. Get back to cooking nutritious food and involve the family. Take some online classes about health and the immune system. Learn about herbs and how they benefit the body. Check out your own yard, see if there's any dandelions popping up and you know, every part of the dandelion can be used except that seed ball. Uh, I've used the leaves in, in greens, I've cooked them like spinach, I've made wonderful dishes with the flowers, every part of it is good for you. Learning to deal with what you ha can do right now will help you reduce the stress levels you're going through. Don't worry about what might happen tomorrow, next week, three weeks from now. Yes, they're there. And down the road, we're gonna have to worry about it or we're gonna have to think about it, plan. And maybe you can do a little bit of planning, but to continually stress over something that you have no control over is detrimental to your health. We know that for a fact. So do the common sense thing, wash your hands, sneeze into a tissue, uh, stay home if you don't have to, go out, uh, do some FaceTime with kids and, and your, your family and um, secure yourself that everybody else is doing okay. Things will work out. You just have to have faith that they will. So I love to look at cooking shows and get ideas and make wonderful soups during the cold months of the year. And then in the, as spring comes, I like to introduce some of the herbs that are starting to pop up. Even my chives are starting to pop up uh, from the winter. And I can push away the leaves and things like that and add them to some of the soups that I'm making and make it more nutritious. Another thing I love to do to add to my soups is this My Immune uh, Mushroom Blend. It's wonderful. Uh, just a scoop of it in some soup will help your immune system stay healthy. Last Saturday, I did a class on uh, mushrooms and how beneficial they are in helping with the immune system fight viruses and yeast. And you can connect with that on my website, bornforhealth.com, 
on the calendar portion, just scroll right down to past classes and you can download the class. You can uh, listen to it, take notes. If you'd like to have the free handouts, you can email me. I can send you the PDF of those. Uh, take some classes and, and learn some things about how you can be healthy. Learn what other people are doing to protect their health. Good morning. So, uh, some of the techniques that I show you in this class, I didn't originate. I learned them and I'm passing them on to you just as you can learn and pass on to others. So, stress is found in the solar plexic. This solar plexus involves digestion and breathing and there is a wonderful uh, exercise uh, on uh, YouTube that I will link to my Facebook page that has uh, five exercises to improve lung capacity and keeping your lungs healthy. And it doesn't take much time, but we do need to focus on better digestion and the ability to breathe. Because if we breathe up here, it involves uh, the, just the very tip of uh, the bronchioles and it makes us more anxious. If we breathe from our diaphragm, then we calm ourselves down. And when you add essential oils to that, you are really doubling the pleasure. <laughs> so make sure that you uh, add some beautiful essential oils. The one I love is a blend called Breathe Deep. And with it is uh, a, a blend of citrus and uh, piney scents. It's just a beautiful blend that helps to improve uh, respiratory health. Uh, some of the benefits are you can diffuse it, you can uh, put it in an oil and rub it and blend it on, put it on your chest, help you breathe at night. Uh, the, some of the ingredients are citrus, um, orange peel, eucalyptus, uh, it has spearmint and cypress, fir, uh, tea tree, which we know is antimicrobial. So this is a really beneficial blend that you can put in a diffuser and uh, run it for a few hours. Uh, during the night you can run it or during the day to help you with your breathing. So we need to de-stress this area. You can use lemon straight. I love to add lemon to uh, vinegar because I'm not fond of the smell of vinegar. So I will add lemon to it to cut that uh, acidic smell and then clean with it. And it's so invigorating, uh, putting it wiping windows and down and cleaning off your countertops with it. It's really, really wonderful. Uh, even the Egyptians and Romans and ancient uh, sects of uh, Indians used lemon <clears throat> to help support their uh, immune system and keep them healthy. So <clears throat> eucalyptus essential oil diluted or diffused uh, <clears throat> can be helpful in addressing coughs. I probably could use some right now. <laughs> uh, bronchitis, sinus, and respiratory infections. Worrying about what could happen is a waste of time. We know that, but worry is a feeling and we get caught up into it and it's an energy and we can work with energies with essential oils and also flower essences. So, <clears throat> you know, people have ideas of what could happen or they can extrapolate or they can uh, get, do an educated guess, but half the time they're wrong. In fact, most of the time they're wrong and then they have to readjust and then, uh, but in the meantime, you're caught up in this mob mentality of, uh, worry and you know like the planet is never going to survive all, yes, all that is a waste of time it is a uh, using up energy 
that could be used elsewhere. You know, as the saying goes, be not afraid, I go before you always. Come follow me and I will give you strength. So have a little faith. Viktor Frankl wrote uh, the book Man's Search for Meaning. He was a concentration camp survivor and a psychiatrist. His observations at the camp, surprisingly, were even in the worst of times and situations, people could be happy. It is based on gratitude, being grateful for that crumb of bread, for the people that are going through this with you, for the camaraderie uh, and companionship. You know, we can FaceTime, we can talk on the telephone. None of that's been gone uh, or taken away from us. So being grateful for the things that we have do and can do. Uh, but the thing I love is this distress remedy. Now, distress remedy is a flower essence. It works with the energies of the body. And you can pop it into your mouth. It's great for your elderly. It's great for children. But it helps to de-stress. And one of the things I found it to be beneficial for is to just drop it into my water. And then I can sip on it throughout the day. It's tasteless, it has no smell, and so you can use it in a variety of ways. It is okay for diabetics. Uh, you know, I used to work with flower essences from Bach Remedies, and the unfortunate thing with them is they're 30% alcohol, so a lot of people couldn't take it. I have found nobody cannot take this double negative anyway it's a wonderful wonderful supplement here's what's in it rock rose which eases panic terror and deep fears clematis promotes awake and focused presence Whoa, we could use this impatience helps with patience and tolerance and acceptance you know those 12 steps that's part of it. Red clover aids being calm and self-centered amidst group panic and hysteria. Everybody's talking about it. Oh my goodness, oh, mob mentality. You can be pulled into this situation and it does no good for you or your family to get caught up in this mentality. Be wise but be sensible. Star of Bethlehem aids in finding spiritual comfort during crisis. Cherry Plum for fear of loss of control and promote surrender and trust. Things will be okay. Take a deep breath and it will be okay. Then Arnica. Now a lot of people know about Arnica, but Arnica in its flower essence form helps with emotional pain, disassociation during shock or trauma, and supports being in the now. This is where we have to concentrate our time. What can I do right now? What little step can I take to move forward? What little part of a hobby that I've set aside that I couldn't have time for, that I now have time for. When you take this remedy, you can take a, a dropper full two to three times a day, and it will help to keep you in calm mood to move forward with your day. It helps you realize you are stronger than you think you are. When people are faced with a huge shift in their daily routine, it sometimes causes the mind to freeze. Helping you move to action and being in the present is all about the energy of the body. And flower essences, like essential oils, work with this energy to improve your state of being. So, <clears throat> flower essences can be taken internally and essential oils can be 
done with aromatherapy. You can put it on topically and it helps with the energy of the body. So both of these can be really supportive for the nervous system. And the supplements I talk about in these classes can all be found on my website. You simply go to Herb Encyclopedia, and it's all alphabetically listed, so D would be under Distress Remedy, and you can read all about it. You can also print it off. You can purchase it from that website. Uh, you can share it with other people. Uh, people need to know that there is something they can do right now. They need to feel like there's control. So be sure to click on hearts and likes and comment if you wish. But if you have something more personal, uh, you can email me, Dr. Mary at bornforhealth.com and I will send you resources and give you the information that you need uh, to help you stay healthy. So there's a combination that we have called anxious lus, not anxiousness, anxious lus. <laughs> It's designed for situational anxiety. Could it be more perfect? <laughs> Often people feel more in control within 20 minutes to a half hour of taking this. Now that may not be your situation, but it certainly has worked for other people. Now the herb this formula is based on is called Skeletorium Tortuosum. <laughs> it's from South Africa and the whole plant is used as all of the plant has balancing effects. When you extract one part of a plant, then you're not really getting all of the plant is designed for. So it also brings it closer to a drug with side effects. So you want the balancing effects and the calming that is available in the whole plant. Uh, this plant is a wonderful herb that helps to calm without drowsiness. It is synergistically combined with L-theanine, which you can look up on the internet. It has tons of uh, studies for uh, L-theanine, and it targets calming the brain. This is great for when you do that recycling thing and things keep looping around and you, you arrive at the same point uh, and continuously and oftentimes this can interrupt your sleep and uh, it, you've wasted so much time in this cycling thing whereas taking some of this anxious list will help to calm that down everything's going to be okay add that to the distress remedy you've got a dynamic duo, duo for this time and place in our society so the ingredients in this product are non-toxic, they're harvested responsibly and sustainably. If you are taking medication, it is wise to check with your uh, medical doctor, but many of my clients have taken this and their doctors have given them the okay and they love it. It has actually helped them to uh, down dose their medications, their anti-anxiety medications, and um, which are extremely with a huge side effects involved in them. So uh, talk with your medical doctor, see if you it's a right thing for you. But it's a wonderful herbal supplement called Anxiousless. So another supplement that supports the nervous system is called Nutricalm. Now it is loaded with. B vitamins and C, and it is the gift to the nervous system. We B vitamins are water soluble, and they wash out of the body under stress. And you need lots of them. Uh, your body can't make them. They're actually needed by the food you take in and uh, supplements that you give it. So. Is, it also contains some wonderful calming herbs. It has passion flower and hops, valerian and schizandra. And my family has used this for decades and it has helped them to remain calm during t test taking or times of, you know, an accident or even daily use. It's very beneficial to keep you calm and centered and uh, being able to stay on task without getting all upset about things. So 
you can use it in high stress times, but it is recommended because it's a nutritive that you take it on a daily basis and then it's there when you're in a stressful situation. So that's how Nutricom differs from anxiousness. Anxiousness is taken on an occasional basis when you're really stressed out and you need to keep yourself centered and focused. And Nutricom is taken on a daily basis like you would any other uh, vitamin and mineral supplement. So how are you going to move forward with this information? Are you going to follow along with the fear mongers and are you going to take the steps toward prevention and security and control over your situation? Are you going to maybe look at some classes on what you can do? Uh, we all know that stress diminishes our immune capacity. It along with lack of sleep and poor diet, is one of the instrumental effects of getting sick. So we want you to examine your life and figure out what steps can you take, even if it's just an apple a day. How can you move forward and get healthy and stay healthy? And maybe this is an opportunity for you to focus on how you can get to grandma's recipe book or look at some classes online on how you can uh, be healthier. There's wonderful classes on, on fermenting foods and drinks and to uh, get your family involved in uh, some uh, meal pre preparation and learn the joy of uh, being beneficial to your family's health. So if you have negative thoughts, cancel them and think of things that bring you joy. Write a list of things that bring me joy. And every day listen to something uplifting and inspirational. Forget the news and all that fear stuff. It's not going to change. It's the same thing on every channel. So allow yourself maybe to know what's going on, but for heaven's sakes, don't have that running in the back uh, all the time, it's not beneficial. Let me tell you, if there's a crisis, you will hear about it. It's ridiculous how people feel like they have to be glued to their screens on uh, all the bad stuff that's going on. So if you eat a diet that is nothing but empty calories, consider upgrading. Um, you can learn how to cook bone broth and so you know when you cook at home like this it saves you so much money you can stretch meals you can you can it's amazing what you can do when you're not eating processed foods life can be a beautiful thing if you let it be if you need some resources please email me and I will do my best to steer you in the direction that will help you. This information is for you to examine maybe a different way of looking at things, a healthier way. We've been taught the world we live in can be dangerous and, and scary and all this stuff. It doesn't have to be. Your reality is what you create. So I choose to believe that we create strong bodies and through faith in ourselves, we can remain strong. I also feel that through community, we become stronger. I am not a fan of this isolation. Yet yesterday I went, I brought soup and my immune mushroom defense to my neighbor who is a little older than me and quite incapacitated. Um, she can't go about as quickly as I can. And it was such a joy to visit with her. Yes, we sat a whole table length apart, but we were able to be face to face and enjoy some camaraderie and reliving old times and talking about birds. And, you know, it's just a good feeling and it helped to uplift her as well. So, do some FaceTime with family if you don't feel comfortable being face-to-face. -face. Um, those family members that are living with you, do some 
uh, diffusing of oils so that you feel comfortable washing your hands and, and hugging and, and making sure that they feel secure. So here's some steps you can take to follow through with this. Learn to cook some nutritious food and perhaps check out a YouTube video for uh, information on fermentation. Or you know what else is sprouting. Sprouting is a wonderful way to get live foods into you during the months we can't grow a garden. Diffuse some pleasant essential oils and instead of using chemical sprays or room deodorizers, make sure that you're filling the house with wonderful beneficial scents. So share what you've learned. Recommend these videos to your friends so that other people can feel more confident and find solutions that doesn't harm the environment or themselves. Keep focusing on gratitude. Be thankful for people and gifts of nature, the flowers, and all the joy around you. Thank you for viewing. Until next time, this is Dr. Mary for the health of it.